it's Friday and uh, the lumber well the framing package portion of the garage was delivered this morning uh, the guys delivered it and laid it down out of my way and we're going to be pouring concrete tomorrow Saturday morning at 8 o'clock we just finished up doing the last preparations for pouring concrete we grabbed one of the 16 foot uh, 2 by 4s there to screed off the concrete with tomorrow you can see now how this board is going to work this board here is what the screed board will sit on top of to be level with this concrete so that way we get a nice flat surface when we're done we'll pull that board out and put more concrete in there and use the bowl float to clean it out All right, I cleaned up the bowl float there it is over there got the uh, old dried concrete off of that all ready to go got a couple hand trowels here uh, a pool style trowel I like these because they have the nice rounded edge I don't leave a line in the concrete the, uh, these are commonly called mag floats but this one's actually aluminum and then a couple of uh, finishing trowels these two and these two came in a package from Harbor Freight picked those up today uh, those four combined were fourteen dollars this one uh, was twenty seven so for how often I use this stuff I just buy new ones each time and that is what the concrete pour area will look like it's Saturday morning uh, concrete truck will be out here in about a half an hour my uncles come out to help me my dad should be here shortly and yeah we'll see how this goes
it would not be appropriate to drop me in the concrete just for a video. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny though. So what we're doing here is finishing off the concrete by hand. It's terrible. <laughs> but this rough area you see here is the last section that we have to finish by hand. And what you should see when we're all done is this nice smooth area that I have here. And then hopefully the rest of the concrete is all smoothed out already. And uh, we should be good to go. Here is going to be the header for one of the garage doors. This worked out well to be able to span the gap so I didn't have to use knee boards for concrete. 